Hey guys, so it is officially midnight. It is day two of the Spookathon, and I am three minutes behind already on the hour-long sprint that I myself um, started. Um, I really wanted to have a sprint at midnight when I got home at work, and I'm do nothing. I'm getting myself a drink and paying attention to the messy kitchen. Uh, Readathon is happening, and all other adult responsibilities have fallen to the wayside. So I'm gonna put you down because I cannot open my iced tea jug with one hand. And that's really sad. Yes, okay, I've got my tea, I have my book, and I'm going to go, ah, and not drop this to the living room. Oh, it's so dark and smoky. Just kidding. All right, we're in the living room, which is the hub of all reading activity. And my book is right here. Okay, readathon sprint is one hour. I'm on page 125. Let's see how much I get done in one hour and I'm not gonna let any distractions happen. Husband, how are you doing? Uh, I'm reading a book that's not even part of the readathon because I had started it and I- We need don't to want your it. excuses. We don't want your excuses, enough. This I'm is readathon- reading, It's bonus reading. This is Spookathon Central. You can't reading. have bonus reading if you haven't finished the books on the Spookathon. So, I got my tea. Oh yeah. And that's enough lollygagging. Lollygaggling? Lolly gagging. All right, I gotta read. See you a little bit. Okay, so um, we got through the sprint. I got about 50 pages in the hour, um, which is pretty okay. I am nearly halfway through, um, and then I just spend the next, the last hour um, editing and uploading the first day's vlog. So it is 2:07. I need to go to bed. Um, my kids are gonna wake up tomorrow at like 7.30 if we're lucky, and then I have to work again. So I have sacrificed enough of myself right now. I am going to call it a night. Good morning. I'm a hot mess. It is a uh, quarter to 10, and um, the girls have been up since 7.30, luckily. Tim got up with him and let me sleep a little bit. Thank God. I was up till like 2.30. But you know, so is he, so. And I look like a hot mess. I need a shower. And I... We have a lot to do today, including working. I'm not going to do much reading because the house is a disaster. And I cannot sit down comfortably and read while, while it looks like this. Hi, baby. Let me show you something. See that? Those are orange slices. Just hanging out on the floor. Just hanging out. I guess Amelia just probably get tired of eating them and then just put them on the floor. So that's just one of many things that need addressed this morning. Don't hit me. Don't hit me. Um, so I'm gonna try to clean a little bit. And then get back to you with some reading. Hello. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. I love seeing everyone, but I love watching a show with my best friend. We are watching Disney Junior, and I managed to get some dishes done. Not all of them, but some. And I picked up that orange slice, so that was a good accomplishment. But we have to buy some oranges. We have to buy some more oranges because someone ate three of them this morning. Me, I <laughs> eat them. She's shameless. I eat them. I eat and so now, um, once again, I'm not getting anything done. Going to I'm going to school. She's going to go to school today, so we're getting her ready. She is, um, she has like an afternoon kind of preschool. And so, I want my dress and I love my books. She loves her books just like we love our books. So we've got to get mom ready and I've got to get this one ready. And we got to take her to school. I don't and want then, that. And then we have other just other stuff. Reading isn't going to happen for a while, so. Aren't you glad you tuned in to day two of the Spookathon? I tried to sneak a couple pages in while the girls watch some TV. And this little one just keeps crawling over and grabbing the book and wanting to play with it. Don't you know what Spookathon is, Thora? Don't you know what a readathon is? Don't you know how important this is? And you're just gonna laugh and smile. You just wanna play. 
Oh, I know. You did it, I know. But hey, can I read my book? Can I have it? Can I have it? Can I have it? Are you gonna fight? Are you gonna fight me on it? it and then she, there she goes more. Like, take. No, you have toys. I buy you toys. You have a whole pile of toys. And that's my phone. I would give that to you, but you have cracked the screen up here. Can you see that? Probably not. She has a. Yep, right there. Hi. A little crack with her, crack with her teeth. Not good. Hey. Hey, you. <laughs> All right. So we are in the car taking Millie to school. It is 11:43, and we are listening to some really bad show tunes. Why today? This is a great song. Tim likes this song ironically. No, I like this song because it's a good song to sing if you're a guy. It's from um, Miss Saigon, and it's so bad. The show, whole show is bad. <clears throat> So he listens to it ironically. He pretends that he likes it. He, there's no way. Um, I have the telling. I read a page. After this, I have to rush home, and because Flora has physical therapy, because she's not walking yet, and then so I've got to do that. And then before I know it, I'm gonna be having to get ready for school, so or for work, not school. We're almost there. So, once again, aren't you so glad that this, these daily vlogs are so spookathon relevant? Mm -hmm. Right. Hello. So bad. Hey, so I'm home and I'm cleaning off our messy um, table and how there are all the stickers here yesterday. I finally cleaned them all off, <laughs> but I couldn't, I couldn't bring myself to tear up this one because, I don't know, it's like she actually created a little scene, like she gave her a crown and like a rose to hold and then she has like the right like character. She's got Sebastian and Flounder and a little seashell and that, I mean, I don't know what that is, just like a star, but it's like an actual little scene. <laughs> And is that weird that I can't bring myself to take it off of the table? So, yes, um, Flora's therapist will be here in like a minute. So, I always have to do like a speed clean of the house, at least the bottom floor before she comes. So it looks like that I've got my life together, which um, I don't have my life together. See my, my skeleton? I can take you a little quick tour of the Halloween decorations we have around the place. Okay, so there's also these ones. They, it's a portrait, but watch what happens. Oh my god, it becomes a scary, scary skeleton. And this lady too. And she becomes a scary, oh, I missed it. Like a scary dead lady. Okay. And our front door has like this caution tape on it that I'm very proud of. <laughs> and also on the back side. Let's see. And there's stuff on the outside of the house too. You can kind of see. We have on the outside of our door, <laughs> bloody help us sign. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Why are you keep, you're, you're messing with me. Hey, come on. You can tell when she is, the only hey. issue with her, when she is <laughs> she goes like heck. And if she's like that, whoa. Oh. Whoa. Uh-oh. Now what? I'm gonna let you go. Whoop. Oh, great. She's gonna show me letting her fall. <laughs> She's gonna let you go. You don't wanna let go. <laughs> you can let the baby face. Yes. Prue, I'll show her. I'll show her. And then she conks her face <laughs> into the plastic. <laughs> Alright, you guys. It is 1.48. And I have to leave for work at like... In like an, less than an hour. Um, Thora's therapy is done with after battling with me profusely. She's finally napping. Um, Tim is home. He was getting a haircut. He's downstairs reading. And I decided to isolate myself in the room up here so there's no other distractions, nothing else that I can possibly interfere with reading. And I'm going to try to binge read the telling over the next hour. So I will touch base with you after the hour-ish, probably not even that long, let you know how I did and then 
I will see you after that. Wouldn't you believe it that right after I made my last update and I sat down, as you saw, and started reading, maybe two minutes later, my mom calls me and starts like chatting up and has, having questions about the trip that we're taking next week. So I'm like, <laughs> I don't talk to her that often, so I'm like, yeah, everything's great, mom, I'm just reading, cause three to thought, and you know, and she totally knows about the spookathon and everything. But I only made it to page, pardon me, 213, so, um, what was that, like 20 or pages or something like that? Not that great. So, my goal, I talked to Kayla, because we're, Paige, myself, and Kayla are, we all wanted to read the telling first, you know, together, because we wanted to make sure that we got this done um, you know, for sure during the readathon because it's kind of like the the centerpiece of our entire readathon. It's a book buddy read for all of us. Um, plus, it's you know the book that we're giving away. Um, but we're like unintentionally, like literally reading together. Like we all are setting like page reading goals together, so we reread it together and finish it around the same time. So basically, my goal is when I get off of work tonight in eight hours to have gotten to page 301 because three, like that's a, the ending of a chapter. It would have been 300, but 301. Um, so I've got like 80 pages to read in eight hours, which is not that big of a deal, except I'm going to be working and I have no idea what I'm walking into. So hopefully, I'm going to work right now. It's 2.51. I live just like a couple minutes away. So my goal is that the next time you see me, I will have been able to read to work and I will be as close to 3.01 as I possibly can be. And we will really see about that. Oh, there's a car like kind of, okay. So I'll see you in eight hours and you'll see me in about two seconds. And I'll, either I'll be really excited and triumphant and successful or down in the dumps and a failure. Hey, so work is done with and luckily for me, I was able to read and I definitely met the goal. I am at 300, I read a little past 301. I couldn't really stop myself. I'm on 315 right now and I had to stop because I am waiting till, um, Paige catches up and um, then the three of us, me, Paige, and Kayla are going to like binge read the very end together um, when we're both, when all three of us are ready. So um, for me, it's like 1130 at night. I don't know if I'm going to get any more of this read before midnight. So I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog here, but I suspect that um, you know, maybe like one in the morning or so I may have this thing finished, but that will be on tomorrow's vlog. Um, but sneak peek, I guess if you go on my Goodreads by the time this is posted, you may see if I finish it or not. Altogether, the thing about this book that's kind of keeping me on my toes is as I'm reading it, the entire time I've been reading it, I'm thinking this is well written for sure. Um, but seems very predictable. Like I'm reading it thinking, um, it's totally obvious what's going on. Um, and I can see that the author's trying to throw like red herrings at us, but I'm like, I feel like I'm seeing right through them. However, as the conclusion is kind of building and building and building, I feel like maybe I've been wrong the whole time. Like maybe she's been writing the book to make it seem like, oh my God, that's totally obviously the, um, the ending as its own red herring. Like maybe she's just been distracting me the whole time. And so basically, if the book ends in that like predictable fashion, I'm gonna be a little disappointed. Um, but if like the ending is completely different, my socks will be knocked off and I will be so impressed. So um, I'm just really excited to see how this book is gonna end because the, the big reveal is really gonna depend on how Wait, my, my ultimate review is going to depend on what the big reveal really is. So, um, I'm pretty sure I'm not going to go to bed tonight till I finish it. Um, unless, like, I just pass out, in which case I'll finish it in the morning. But, I'm very, very close. And, see, as you can see, only a little bit, like, I only have 85 pages left. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, um, this is where I'm ending. 
and I will see you guys tomorrow um, for Spook with on day three and um, is the first day that you will see me picking up a new book <laughs> because I will have finished the telling by tomorrow. I will. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, same thing with yesterday. How much did you read today? What books did you read? What are you planning on reading tomorrow? What challenges have you accomplished already? Um, and I'm really excited to see how you guys are doing. Um, I'm excited for everyone that's participated so far. And I guess I don't want to ramble any longer because it's late and I'm tired and I need to get ready for bed and get out of my work clothes. All right. I'll see you guys tomorrow.